But while deadly tragedies are in the spotlight, like that mass shooting there, new data is actually showing a sharp drop in killings and other crimes in Atlanta, including the areas that have historically struggled with crime. 11 Alive's Doug Richard has a look at what's happening. In a community center run by Mothers Against Gang Violence, Takesha Shields keeps a tally of the frequency of violent crime in a neighborhood that now has less of it. So to see that those numbers have decreased in our community, I think it brings a lot of comfort um, and peace to our community. Shields is based on Metropolitan Parkway on Atlanta's south side a community that has struggled with crime for decades. But city data shows that this area has seen sharp drops in both violent crime and property crime. Motor vehicle theft is down 46 percent compared to this time last year. Burglary is also down, as well as shoplifting, all other larcenies. Plus, homicides have dropped. So have rapes compared to the first seven months of last year. The downside is that aggravated assaults have increased, so have burglaries. Stewart Avenue was known for a lot of danger. When I come out and I go to the left and I go to the stores, I walk and I walk with peace. So APD is not having that issue hiring officers like they were two years ago. Atlanta City Councilman Antonio Lewis says the city has hired and kept new police officers whose presence has helped deter potential criminals. And so we've been able to, for three years, see consistent rates of all crime stats going down. The goal, Lewis says, is to keep it that way. In southwest Atlanta, Doug Richards, 11 Alive News. We should mention there were three homicides alone yesterday in the city of Atlanta, but prior to that, city data shows homicides are down 32% compared to this time last year.